Hello YouTube and welcome to my video on how to Raspberry Pi your garage door opener or make it a smart garage door opener if you want to call it that. So the first thing I noticed is these two terminals here on the end on the right side I have I've stubbed out these two wires when you connect those terminals or make the connection I'll simulate by doing this it opens up the garage door so I figure I should be able to stick one of these into the ground on the Raspberry Pi the other one onto a GPIO pin set the pin to output and turn it on and I think it should complete that connection and make the door open or close if you if you put it in again it will make the door close like that so the other thing I've done is my garage door opener has two of these limit switches they're magnetic and I tapped into those to get the state of the door. Here's the other one down here, right here. And so when that limit switch is connected or set to true, then I know the door is closed. When this one is set to true, I know the door is open. And if neither of them are, I know the door is in transition somehow. So I tapped into those back here. And one of them will, one of these will go to ground and the two others will go to GPIO pins. So I will use three GPIO pins for this project. Uh, one to open and close the door and the other two to give me data from the magnetic limit switches. So, and one of these will go to ground. All right, so there it is. Cable up, I will power it on and then we'll go look at some Python. Okay, on the right here is the API I wrote in the Python Flask framework. It's uh, pretty simple. I'm a programmer by hobby, not by profession. So if you think you could make it better, please do. I'll leave a link to my Git repo in the description. And so I'll start up the API on the left here, and it is running on the Flask development server, which is on port 5000. Then if I hit the IP of the Raspberry Pi on port 5000, it goes to the API home. And then if I go to slash garage slash status, it will tell me the status of the door, which is currently closed. And then if I go to toggle, it will send an open command. If I hit status again, it will tell me it's opening. I refresh and it's all the way open now. If I hit toggle again, it will close it. Go back to status and it tells me it's closing. It opens a lot faster than it closes, so we refresh it a few times, and then it finally tells me it is closed. So I'd like to take a minute and give an explanation of how I cabled everything up. Uh, for example, the limit switches. Let's say this is a limit switch, and this is my garage door opener, and it has you know a cable going to the terminal of the garage door opener. What I did is I basically cut that and here's my Raspberry Pi over here. Basically just added another wire, one going to the GPIO here, and then this one would be going to the ground of the Raspberry Pi. So that's where you saw those wire nuts were on these connections here. And that's all I did was splice into the limit switches that way. On the garage door opener, to get it to open and close, all you have to do is just connect these two. You briefly connect that with the wire and it will open or close the door. All I did there is run one to the ground on the Raspberry Pi and the other to another GPIO pin. And like I said before, set that GPIO pin to output, turn it on, and it makes that connection and will open and close the door.